Hey there, we're back, and now we're looking at connecting the rest of the rig together. So, I've got uh, each of these joints here which need to be controlled by the control objects. So, what I'm going to be doing is just setting up the basic hierarchy first. Uh, and I think before I go ahead, I'm just going to quickly uh, open up my KK controllers again by typing in KK underscore controllers without anything selected, creating another curve here, which this is just going to be my master controller that everything else will connect to. So I'm going to call that master CTRL, enter. OK, and I'll leave that blue, and I'll close down my KK controllers. OK, and I'll just right click. I'll shrink it down a little bit. Right click and freeze scale, and that's all nice and clean now. OK, so what we need to do is to set up the basic hierarchy. Now, this master control is called the master control for a reason. It's going to be controlling everything. So I'm going to select my hip control here and shift select my master control and hit P to parent. And I'm going to do the same with these two feet control here. Uh, shift select and hit P for parent. And I'm just going to go ahead and parent a whole heap of other things. So I'm going to shift select from the hip sway to the hip control, hit P for parent. The same over here, we need the chest control, shift select the torso, P for parent. Uh, I'm going to select this, uh, the stomach, and then the hip control and parent. And I'll select the head and then the neck control and parent. And also what I'm going to do is with my head control, I'm actually going to group that uh, because I want to add in a little extra functionality. I'm going to hit insert uh, to bring up my pivot effector and bring that over to around where we need it. And I uh, hit W to get back to our transform tool. And I'm going to call that head CTRL underscore GRP, just to keep with the naming convention that we established earlier. And that is going to be a parent of uh, the shoulders here. So I'm going to hit P. Uh, what I can do now is keep parenting these controls here. So I'll parent this second neck control to the head and this first neck control to the chest. Hit P. And uh, these controls here, I'm going to shift select and add them to the hip control. Uh, and these clavicle controls, which I haven't actually named yet, so I'll do that now. Left clav CTRL. And over here, we have the right clav CTRL. And they're both going to be uh, parented to torso control. Hit P. And now these curves here have actually got groups on them already. And so by parenting uh, straight away, we're actually going to set uh, destroy those groups, which we don't want to do. So what we're going to do is uh, by we'll click our control hit the up key, and then from that we'll shift select and take the torso control and hit P. We'll select our other shoulder control, up, shift select our torso control, and P. And we're going to do the same thing with the elbows. So we're going to hit up, and then Shoulder control, hit P, and same with the hands, although they don't have a group, so we're just going to shift and P. We're going to do the same on the other side, pressing up to get to the group, shift, P, and then just a straight parent between those two. And now what you can do to check uh, that you've got all your controls is click on the root control here, 
so we've connected the tail and the middle part of the body to this control, but we also need to connect the torso here to the hip control. So we're just going to hit P for parent. Okay, great. So everything in the body is in our hierarchy, and if we click on the master control, we'll also see that our feet are also connected in that hierarchy. And we can move that around, but we'll notice that we're still not getting the sort of movement that we want. That's because this joint here is not actually connected within the hierarchy. So I'm just going to undo that movement. But first, you can also see that there's a couple of uh, bits of geometry there that I've forgotten to parent uh, to the rig. So I'm going to go and do that now. And now that arm's all connected properly. And now what we're going to do is selecting this joint here and also uh, and then shift select the hip sway. We can hit P. And now what we have is our joints are connected again. And I've missed another piece of geometry, which is this wrist part here. So just shift. Select and P. Now we're moving. OK, and so now you see that we've got separate functionality for our hip sway. As for the rest of the body, but also we can control the entire model. And what's also great is we can scale the entire model. Uh, it will still retain all of its functionality. Now what we're going to be looking at doing is, if you noticed with uh, when I'm moving these around here, the feet aren't actually staying planted on the ground. And I mean, that's just going to be a pain once you start animating. So we're going to have to fix that up. Uh, and you'll notice the same happens with the head. We want the head to actually follow the rotation of this joint here. And we're going to do that with constraints. And we're also going to set up automatic in-betweening for the curve of the neck uh, with constraints as well, but we're going to look at that in the next tutorial.